thumbs going around this keyboard. From here, the keyboard can be lifted up, but you can't remove it yet because we still have our ribbon cables underneath. So you'll tilt our device up, and there are three ribbon cables, one for the track point, one for the backlight, and one for the keyboard itself. We're gonna undo that main cable right here. We're gonna undo the one for the trackpad, and we're also going to undo that one for the backlight. And then the entire keyboard lifts up and out of place to be set to the side, replaced, or just changed out. This device supported models with or without the track point and an optional backlight. So if you did not have one, you could upgrade it to get a keyboard with a backlight. After the keyboard has been removed, we're going to take out our touchpad next. And we are going to do that with these screws all the way around the sides. We're gonna go ahead and pop out this SD card cover, set that to the side. Then we'll remove our networking port. We'll use our screwdriver to pry up both antennas, remove that set screw. And that networking card comes out. And I find it is nice to replace those set screws back into the motherboard so we don't have to find them later. We're gonna to continue to take this apart. We're gonna remove the last of our Phillips head screwdrivers that are gonna hold our casing in place. 